Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shweta Deshpande and uh, welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to another makeup tutorial. So of late, like, I've been seeing on Instagram that there's this trending reel. Um, there's this trend of an island girl makeup look and I actually bumped into it when I saw it on Pinterest as well and I was really curious to see. And I saw such amazing makeup looks and I had to create this look. I think this look is perfect like for the perfect beach getaway or even if you just want to add like a little bit of touch of paradise to your everyday makeup look this look is it if you guys are new here to my channel do not forget to subscribe to my channel and let's just begin the tutorial so before we jump into the island girl makeup trend a beauty trend that I have been loving of late is the minimal gooey makeup look and I feel it goes well with the island world makeup look because it looks so natural it embraces a natural fresh glow it sort of feels like highlighting your skin's natural complexion but just with like a touch of glow onto it so we're going to be doing the base with like a dewy glowy makeup look so we're going to start prepping our skin first i am going to be using the glow recipes aha plus bha four tight toner I've used quite a lot of it and this is the mini size, I just wanted to give it a try. So I like using it before I apply any makeup. I've got a bit of combination skin. Since we're doing a dewy makeup look, usually when you add a lot of hydration on your skin, especially around my T-zone, I tend to look grey when the foundation starts oxidizing. And I've got like combination skin so I don't want it to look oily around my T-zone. So I'm going to focus more on my T-zone and then move it out onto my cheeks. Next I'm going to go ahead with the Too Faced uh, Plump and Prime Plumping Serum. This smells like peaches and I think it's perfect for this island girl makeup look just look at the texture of this primer it's so hydrating and yet it sticks to my skin really well it has a nice thick texture that's equivalently hydrating and also just doesn't make my skin feel sticky at all and just to add more to the dewiness on my skin i'm gonna start I am going to apply uh, the Max Stroke Cream. This is like um, like a hydrating and a highlighting stroke cream at the same time. It has like, um, if you guys are new here to my channel and don't know about me a lot, and uh, you will know if you watch other of my videos, I use this product quite a lot because it has a beautiful cream like texture and especially. It has those really small shimmer particles which just highlight your skin. Now these come in five shades. I have the one called Pink Light and um, I just love the texture of this so cream. And it doesn't have, um, and the reason why I love it is because it doesn't have that tacky, really big highlighting glitter i don't know what you call it like glitter or like those highlighting shimmer in it it doesn't have that like a lot but it has the right amount of it and it's so small that it just blends with the cream and um i sometimes use it like as a last step of my makeup as well onto my cheeks that also is fine but i most of the time use this as a primer because it just gives a nice glowy base to my skin i also like using it underneath my neck like whatever is left over so my neck also looks glowy at the same time it doesn't look dry for the foundation i'm going to be using the mac studio radiance serum powered foundation now this foundation is a beautiful medium coverage foundation and is hydrating and it's, it has a slight dewy moisturizing texture to it which I think is perfect for this Island Girl makeup look. You can use a tinted moisturizer, but I prefer using something that has medium coverage to it. This is not a full coverage foundation, but it has the perfect amount of medium coverage to this 
and I feel that it's just perfect for this makeup look because the island girl makeup look is something where you just want to enhance your natural skin and um, I think this is the perfect choice because if you want to make it really sheer as well you can just take a little bit of drops and apply it on your face and this will just give you a nice dewy hydrating finish so I'm gonna just take like one drop of this foundation because I want my face to look a little sheer um, I'm just going to start blending my foundation I'm just going to blend the foundation all over my face with a beauty blender I am avoiding my eyes because if you're just going to apply a foundation underneath your eye it's going to crease your concealer and we don't want that we want like a beautiful flawless finish for our skin I'm just going to dab like the leftovers on my neck. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to set my base, especially the foundation with this Too Faced 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer Setting Spray. This is just going to set my foundation and then as and when I apply the concealer and the next step of my base, I'm going to use this over and over again. I'm gonna let this thing settle for a while. Now for my concealer, I'm gonna go ahead with the Dior's uh, Forever Skin Correct Concealer. This is a beautiful, creamy, natural finish concealer. This is not a matte finish concealer at all. And that is why I like using this concealer, especially when I wanna do uh, natural or dewy makeup looks because this is really, this is quite blendable. And I just use a little tiny dot on my eye and on the outer eye then I take the fan brush the thick fan brush and I blend my concealer out in this technique like combining a natural finished concealer with a fan brush gives you the most natural looking under eye and nobody can even tell that you have concealer underneath your eye at all I won't bake or set my under eye with powder but instead because I want that dewy look on my skin I am going to go ahead with the Trish McCoy um, instant eye lift I love using this product uh, this was sent to me by the brand and um, and it just gives my eye like a lifted look which I really like so whenever I use a concealer, I always just apply this on top of it or I even use it as it is. I am going to just, I'm going to dot it like all over my under eye. This is like a very shabby way of applying it, but it has a really nice thick creamy texture which initially when I bought like initially when I saw this product and when I tried it I felt that it's going to crease my under eyes but whenever I've applied this product like on top of a concealer it's just never creased my under eye at all so I'm going to go ahead with the same fan brush and I'm going to blend this out as well on top of the concealer I'm going to take the leftovers and put it on top of my eye um, I believe that when you look at an island girl and especially when you see brows I think when it comes to the brows for this island girl makeup look I think you know having really thick feather brows is going to be amazing for this look because uh, whenever you see island girl or any tropical girl they have really thick brows so I'm going to do that I'm going to go ahead with the Morphe's uh, brow setting gel this is in the shade translucent first before I add and um, before I add dimension to my brows so first I'm just going to give a little bit of direction to my brows and then I'm just And then I'm going to fill it in. Next, I'm 
next I'm gonna go ahead with the Morphe's Latte Brown Creme. I'm gonna go ahead with the Morphe's brush as well and I'm gonna use the tapered side and pick up the pigment from this pot and start making tiny little hair to fill my brows. I feel when it's like a prim brow product and that comes with this cute little brush, it gives the most natural appeal and it looks like it just gives a natural brow looking kind of feel to your makeup because um, I am somebody who doesn't like mixing textures of makeup if it's a matte makeup is when I'm going to go ahead with maybe a brow pencil but if it's all creme products then it's going to be all dewy creme products I'm just somebody who doesn't like mixing textures of makeup I just see that it goes completely against what you're doing like it might just not settle in well is what I believe just going to give a little finishing touch to my brows The thing I like about the brow gel from Morphe is that even though I have applied the brow creme after it, the brows are just set in a certain manner. It's like a canvas and I'm just painting and adding a little more dimension. And it just hardens your eyebrows and um, makes your eyebrow last longer. Like it really helps in giving your brows like a long lasting it just doesn't move out of place at all. I'm going to go ahead with my eye makeup and I'm going to be using the Too Faced Sweet Peach Eyeshadow Palette. And I think this is perfect for um, the Island Girl makeup look. It has amazing shades. I'm just quite not sure if it's available online. Like, I tried finding it but it's only available at the Too Faced website, I guess. But links are down in the description below so you can access it anytime. So I'm going to go ahead with the shade, um, with the dark shade here. I'm going to go ahead with the brown shade here, it's called Cure. And uh, I am just going to go about the outer corner of my eye and just pull it in a bit. So I don't want to add like a lot of drama to my eyes with this makeup look. All I'm going to create is like a pink brown uh, eyeshadow look that gives or adds dimension to the sun-kissed look that we're trying to achieve here. So I'm going to be really soft with my application. I don't want to overdo it. I'm just going to take the leftover shade and go about the upper lid of my eye. Then I'm going to go ahead with the shade Candy peach it's a beautiful shimmery pink color I'm just gonna add a little bit onto the inner corner of my eyelid this is just gonna add like the softness of the pink to the makeup look I'm going to finish my eyes with the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Now this is another absolute favorite but I'm going to use it really um, softly. You can see even though I've just done a few brush strokes, it still has added a lot of dimension to my eyes. So I'm just going to add it very softly because I don't want my eyes to be very puffy like with really long lashes. I just want it to look natural. I'm just going to add a little bit of touch of dimension to my eyes and my lower eye as well. Next, I'm going to use the bronzer on my skin. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury's Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. 
Now I have this in the shade 2 medium. It's a little bit light for my skin but I am somebody who doesn't like to heavily contour my skin or use a lot of bronzer on my skin. I'm going to go ahead with my teeny tiny cube brush and swirl this around and pick up the product. First I'm going to just use it underneath my jaw and just add a little bit of bronzer on my cheeks. And then even cheeks, sorry. And the reason I selected this shade that's a bit light for me is because I am somebody, like I said, I don't like using a lot of bronzer and um, contour my face a lot. So I will use a shade, even if I do it, I will use a shade that is very, like a tad bit darker than my skin. So I can like easily just add dimension to it with but not looking too much so this gives me like a typical natural bronze look i don't like using a lot of i don't like using really dark contour and i do it like if i've ever done it i would do it only for something like if i had to do a tutorial on it or um if i had to like add a lot of dimension to my face then i would use something really dark but apart from that i'm somebody who likes it natural and not somebody who would just add a lot of contour and bronze on my skin so you can see how my skin looks right now it's just given that typical sun kiss look i'm going to go ahead and add a little bit on my nose as well and with this look it's okay that i've pulled it up all till my cheeks so it doesn't look overdone at all because this is the kind of makeup look that we want to achieve. I'm just going to add a little bit more onto my forehead to just balance the look out. Now we're going to use the blush. Now for this makeup look, I was quite confused which blush do I use. I have two options. One is Grand, that is from the Glow Play Blush Collection from MAC. Um, I'm kind of confused because both of them are really nice poppy tropical colors. I really like Grand more, um, especially Grand because it's a really nice beauty pink brown shade. It's perfect like for a tropical makeup look and I have cheer which is selena's custom shade and it has a really nice pop of pink because i've had it like a lot of bronzer on my skin i'm kind of confused which one do i go with but both of them are like equivalently um illuminating but i think i'm gonna go ahead with cheer and um because i think that this adds a lot of luminosity to my skin i'm just gonna grab my brush and then i'm gonna apply cheer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take this big fan brush. I'm gonna be using this big fan brush. I've all this I used chair on this previously as well. I'm gonna take the shade and I'm gonna I'm not gonna see the placement, I'm just going to apply it all over my cheeks over the bronzer as well. So it looks pretty natural. A little bit on my nose. And you can see how luminous my skin looks at right now. This is the kind of look that I wanted to achieve with like the Island Girl makeup look. Like your face looks really natural dewy and you have the balance of pink and brown. The perfect sun-kissed makeup. Now we're going to move to the lips. But before that, I am going to set my entire base with the Too Faced setting spray again. Now for my lips, first I'm gonna just, first I'm gonna like overline my lips with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk because I have a little bit of, actually not a little bit of, I have a really dark lip line. I want to conceal that, so I am going to O-line my lips.
So all I've done is I've just slightly overlined my lips. I just basically try to slightly conceal the pigmentation that I have on my lips. Next I'm going to go ahead with the Tom Ford uh, Lip Sculptor Crayon. And um, this is in the shade number 12, Exploit. And uh, this is a really pretty mid-tone, I would say. It's actually like a warm uh, pink coral or it's like a really nice poppy color. I feel this is perfect for the Island Girl makeup look. So I will just... Fill my lips with this. I really like this shade, especially perfect for summers. And um, it comes with a brush on the other side that kind of helps you to just blend this out perfectly and like prevent it to just be really. Uh, patchy at a certain spot now no island girl makeup look is complete without really nice coral gloss so i'm gonna go ahead um so i'm gonna use the trish mccoy lip gloss in rendezvous i absolutely love the texture of this lip gloss it it's really deeply hydrating as a lip oil and it's so lightweight at the same time. The first time I tried it, I was kind of surprised because it has a texture of a lip oil, but it's actually a lip gloss. So I'm just gonna use a little bit to just hydrate my lips. Now, just to make my lips look more um, glossy at the same time, I'm gonna go ahead with the Jisoo um, Honey Infused Lip Oil in the shade uh, Watermelon Sugar. So I really like, it's a very beautiful shimmery pink lip gloss and I feel the Island Girl makeup look isn't complete without this. Now I'm just going to grab my cute little floral clip that I have and just, I'm just going to add the clip back to my hair. I have put one more on my back as well. So um, I'm going to again set my makeup with the Too Faced setting spray. So the look is complete and I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. All the videos, um, all the links are mentioned down in the description below. And if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel so you guys can see me regularly. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this makeup tutorial. And if you guys want me to create another tutorial for you guys, do drop it down in the comments below. If you tried this look, do not forget to take a picture and tag me as well. And stay beautiful guys and I will see you guys in another makeup video.